think I'll, I'll, I'll finish with um, this poem uh, called Darling that I wrote for my dear friend Julia Darling, who died quite a number of years ago um, now. Um, and I, I was thinking about life and, and, and death as I, as I have been. You know, I'm in this house at the moment trying to sort out this house after my mum and dad both died really quite closely together. And my birth father also died just 10 days before my mum. So it was very strange having, um, I remember saying to my mum that my birth father had died and, and she said, who would have believed that I'm the last one standing of your four parents? And then uh, 10 days later, she she died. And uh, it's very strange kind of going through all of this, this house, all their, their books and, and stuff and thinking about what, you know, what a life, is what we collect from lives, our interests, our books, the things that we, we love, the songs, the music, the things that we've, I keep coming across these articles, Guardian articles that, <clears throat> that my dad's found that says, retain this, and, um, and they'll be about all sorts of different people that he'll have been, writers and different people that he'll have been interested in, and the kind of huge amount of stuff that he kept about me, things that I haven't kept about myself, so that's quite strange to come across all these um, clippings newspaper clippings but anyway this I'll, I'll read um because it was uh one of their their uh, favorite poems and also because it kind of honors anybody really who's lost anybody um which is most of us have lost somebody in in one way or another um so and if you haven't read the work of julia darling she's another woman poet that was a huge influence to me um not just through her work but through her the example of her life and how she actually embraced dying in a way that um, I would have never thought possible and in a way that I can't imagine doing myself. I can't imagine finding um, the strength to be that positive. And I remember one time visiting Julia in hospital and she said, I'm in no pain unless I try and dance the hokey cokey. <laughs> and I just thought that was just such a lovely thing. Anyway, thank you all so much, um, darling. You might forget the exact sound of her voice or how her face looked when sleeping. You might forget the sound of her silent weeping curled into the shape of a half moon. When smaller than herself, she seemed already to be leaving before she left, when the blossom was in the trees and the sun was out and all seemed good in the world. I held her hand and sang a song from when I was a girl. Heal ya ho boys, let her go boys. And when I stopped singing, she had slipped away, already a slip of a girl again, skipping off, her heart light, her face almost smiling and what I didn't know or couldn't say then was that she hadn't really gone the dead don't go till you do loved ones the dead are still here holding our hands <laughs>